We start the next pairing by cutting the fringe unevenly to leave it quite short. We separate the lower half and we set the length about 12 centimeters below the chin. We then work all the hair on top upwards. Then we snip at the height of the first section. We now bring forwards the hair on top. We cut it vertically around the face. We release it and give a very long base length to the style. After cutting, we separate the hair into evenly grouped sections. We can see here that we have separated the hair by zigzag partings so that the hair will mix together better. We leave the very short fringe straight. We can see the zigzag separated sections. We take the first section and we comb it well. We soak it with alkaline perming lotion for natural hair. We roll the hair in the curler, making sure we keep it vertical and towards the face. We don't raise the roots much so that we don't get much body here. We release the next section. We soak it and then comb. We vertically roll the hair, always keeping it tight. We take the next section and we carry out the same process. As this process is very quick and with very few curlers, we're using the direct method to apply the perming lotion. We always protect the ends with paper and then we roll the curlers, always keeping the hair tight to get a uniform curl. We carry on soaking and rolling at the same time, always working towards the face. Occasionally, due to the layering, we'll need to use two papers to keep the ends well combed. We soak, then we comb, and then we roll with the curler. We place another paper if necessary, and we continue with the rolling. We have started on one side, and we work using an imaginary line at the middle of the nape until we reach the other one, working the curlers towards the face. We now work the temple and side of the opposite side, again keeping the roots very flat and rolling the curler vertically. This technique will give us wide curls, but without excess body. We work the reserved sections on top, always leaving the roots very flat.
we make sure we keep the air taut as we roll the curlers vertically. When we distribute the sections, we need to remember to interlink the curlers from the top layers with those of the lower ones, so that we don't get any undesirable lines and to allow the hair to blend together. We protect the ends at the beginning, adding a second paper if necessary to keep the ends tidy. We now roll the last colour towards the face. We now can see the finished setup of this vertical perm. We leave the lotion to act according to the manufacturer's instructions. Afterwards, we rinse thoroughly with warm water. We dry off the excess water, and then we move on to neutralising using the Yongera's curl control. This technique involves gently unrolling the hair and soaking with the neutralising lotion. We always carry out this process one curler at a time. When we do this, we always use cotton wool to protect the client's face and any splashes. We also use a plastic collar to catch any lotion. We leave the neutralizer to work according to the manufacturer's instructions. Afterwards, we rinse with water, but without releasing the curler so the curls don't lose any shape. Here we can see how we release each curler one at a time after we have rinsed the hair. Next we add some normal fix gel to help define the curls. We now move on to drying the hair. We dry the hair completely statically, only inclining the head towards one side or the other if necessary. We spray some shine and we work any middle areas that may be wet with a diffuser. Here we can see the end result of this vertical perm. This process gives us a soft but well-defined curl. This perm is ideal to curl long hair, but without giving it excess body, but lending it a fashionable and modern look.